Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today I thought what we will do is explore another planet, but before we get started, I wanted to harvest our garden. I know that it would be fully ready by now, so we can just use this teleporter to get up to the top floor, and then we'll start um, farming what we have up here. So we have all these that need to be harvested, and like I think like four floors that we have to go through but uh, the nice thing about that is we can actually just harvest all of them by clicking on the little floor here which is really nice feature to implement into the parts I kind of wish they had elevators that NPCs and stuff could use but I noticed that the stairs the NPCs don't actually use them which is kind of interesting but um, yeah so once we get this part done uh we can move over to let's see if we have enough room in our freighter okay we got actually quite a bit from that i want to see if we have okay we have some spare ones there so we can actually sell all those um we'll put those over on our freighter for now and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and harvest the rest of the things uh, and then we'll go back down to the economy thing and then we'll um sell what we can from these and we'll be able to um, tend to the rest of the garden I guess uh, that will give us a little bit more resources things like the uh, frost crystals and stuff that we can make glass out of so that's the plan at least okay so we got I think about 20 of those as well let's just take a look yeah, we got 20, so they're, or no, 40, pardon me. Yeah, 40, that's right, okay. Um, yeah, so we'll go, we'll go across over here, and then we have those other uh, ones, the venom sacks and pearls, I can't remember what ones, but harvest these up. These are more economy items than anything. The other one, the other crops are more um, food and, uh, well, I guess they can be for advanced economy, too, but a lot of them are food crops that can be used for both uh, cooking and other stuff. But, yeah, alright, so that one's taken care of, and then we'll go over here. Collect these up. And then we can go downstairs get the rest of them shouldn't take too long
right, so I was thinking uh, we don't have many options. Well, we have a few. There's another planet over there, I think. Let's check this one out. High Sentinel. Yeah, well, let's go to that one, actually. Um, the other one over there is uh, High Aggressive Sentinels, Sentinels, so I don't really want to um, go there just yet. We'd probably just go down there for a few seconds just so we load it in. But that's about it. Won't really scan anything because the Sentinels will be a little bit aggressive. But uh, we can go check out this one first. It's High Sentinel Activity Star Bulbs, which means it's a lush planet. You're not chosen. All right, um, one of those random space anomalies. All right, let's go over that way. We'll go where the sun is. Uh, we'll see if we can't um, load in on the other side there. Okay, we should be able to do it right about here. There's a lot of water on this planet. This is interesting. Okay, so we got some different types of trees I haven't seen before. Could probably land here. And then I'll explore on foot. then so let's um, just make sure that we have that enabled and charged okay just in case there's any hostile critters um, we'll see if we can't start scanning
so we actually got all the different types of creatures um, on this planet. The last one, because it there's a large ocean, I think it has to do with the depth. Uh, usually the rare ones are in the deep ones, uh, deep oceans that I've found. So uh, there is certain criteria for some of the rare ones. But uh, yeah, we were able to find all of them. So we got 2,000... 500 danites, I think, from that one, so that wasn't too bad. Um, there's a few other planets around here. Uh, we'll see if we can't find them all. That one looks like it's probably a moon. Uh, that's a fungal one, so let's go to this one first. We'll see what's up there. Uh, pillared planet, so I'm not sure if that's one of those uh, unique planets or whatever, but we'll take a look. We'll see if we can't get something for a collection at our uh, new museum base thing, so. Um, pillared planet, I'm not sure if that's one of the unique places or something, but we'll take a look anyways. See what he has to offer. Nah, I'm good. So we'll go on the top because I think the sun is going around and it should, we should be getting daylight pretty soon giving that there's anything on this planet to begin with. So we'll go right about there. I'm just amazed how big these planets really actually are. Like, they're huge. It would take so long to actually go around them. Like, on foot. Ah, uh, yes. I don't think we have one of these yet. Um...